My name is Dean Paul Denniston, and today we'll be replacing the rear wheel hub motor on the Razor C35 and C35 SLA. This is an easy procedure. It should take you approximately 20 minutes from start to finish. You will need the following tools. A Phillips screwdriver. A five millimeter Allen wrench. A 10 millimeter open end wrench. And a 19 millimeter open end wrench. This process can be completed in four easy steps. Step one, removing the battery. Step two, removing the rear wheel. Step three, installing your new rear wheel. And step four, reinstalling the battery. Now let's get started on step one, removing the battery. Using your Phillips screwdriver, remove the six screws on the top of the deck lid. With all six screws removed, we can remove the deck lid, lift from the back and pull straight out, and set it aside. There are four screws securing the battery to the frame. Using your Phillips screwdriver, remove all four screws. With all four screws removed, we can lift the battery out of the body. Now trace the wires from the battery to their plugs. There are only two. For the yellow plug, pull straight apart. And for the black plug, pinch and separate. Now always remember to dispose of your batteries properly. And that concludes step one, removing the battery. Now on to step two, removing the rear wheel hub motor. First, let's remove the grommet that secures the wires. Simply pull it out. Now using your 10 millimeter open end wrench and your five millimeter Allen wrench, let's remove the bolt that secures the brake. Hold with one side and twist with the other. Since the brake is under tension, you're gonna need to unthread the bolt all the way in order to pull it out. Remove the bolt and the spring and set them aside. Trace both the wires coming from the hole in the frame back to their plugs and remove them all. For the small black plugs, pinch and separate. There are two, pinch and separate. And for the colored plugs, pull them straight apart. Do the same with all three. Now let's remove the brake. Slide it up and out. And gently remove the wire from the frame. Once the brake is out, set it aside. Now we can remove the covers. There are two Phillips screws holding each side in. Using your Phillips screwdriver, remove all four of those screws. With the screws off, you can slide the covers straight off and do the same for the other side. Remove the cover from the other side and set it aside. Using your 19 millimeter open end wrench, loosen the nuts on both sides of the wheel. You're gonna to wanna to loosen them all the way. With the nuts loosened, we're ready to remove the wheel. Gently place the scooter on its side. Now slide the back wheel straight down. With the wheel out of the scooter, we can gently pull the wires through the frame. And that concludes step two, removing the rear wheel hub motor. Now on to step three, installing your new rear wheel hub motor. Take your brand new wheel and slide the wires from the wheel through the hole in the frame. Slide the big plug through the hole first, followed by the three little plugs. At this point, let's reinstall the fender brake. It's easier this way since the wheel won't be in the way. Slide the wire through the hole in the frame. and place the fender brake into position. Next, let's slide the big bolt through the frame and through the fender brake. Now let's reinstall the spring. Insert the spring with the split side on the bottom and the coils on the back. Feed the bolt through the coils. With the bolt through the coils, we can slide it through the other side of the brake and the frame. Use your five millimeter Allen wrench to tighten it through. 
Once threaded, we can put the nut back on. Use your 10 millimeter open end wrench and your five millimeter Allen wrench to tighten it down. Remember, hold from one end and tighten from the other. Now let's mount the new rear wheel. Place it into position and make sure the washers are both on the inside of the frame. The washers have little tabs on them. Make sure they're on the bottom. Now let's pull the slack out of the cable. Gently pull it from inside the body. We can stand the scooter back up now. Using your 19 millimeter open end wrench, tighten down those nuts. And do the same for the other side. Let's reconnect the motor and the brake. The brake plug plugs into the small one. And for the motor cables, connect the big cable first, followed by the little three. They're color coded, so make sure to plug yellow to yellow, green to green, and blue to blue. Now let's reinstall the covers. The triangle faces up and the pointy side faces forward. Slide it until the tabs pop through the frame. And using your Phillips screwdriver, reinstall the two screws per cover. And do the same for the other side. Now let's reinstall the grommet. Place the wires into the grommet and press the grommet through the frame. And that concludes step three, installing our new rear wheel hub motor. Now on to step four, reinstalling the battery. Place the battery into the frame. Make sure to slide the wires to the side so they don't get crushed. Now using our Phillips screwdriver, reinstall the four screws that secure the battery. Now let's reconnect the battery. Find the yellow plug and its receiver and slide them straight together. And do the same with the little black plug. Take your deck lid and place it back on. Slide the front side in first and drop the back down. And using your Phillips screwdriver, reinstall the six screws that secure the deck lid. Now turn on the power and make sure it works. And that concludes step four in the process of installing our new rear wheel hub motor. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and informative. But if you still have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to contact customer support at Razor.com. Now get out there and have some fun. Bye-bye.